to another edition of Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, uh, and we have got uh, another wine, and uh, been haven't had a re review in the past couple of normal days, Friday, Monday. The, uh, the day gig gets in the way sometimes with the schedule. I uh, just got back from World Market, bought uh, some wine, didn't buy a ton of wine, but I bought some wine, bought a little more than I was expecting to. I was only going to buy like six bottles, about nine. But uh, this has some good deals, just some stuff that I really was like, let's try it. And I mean, I could have bought like 20 bottles, but anyway, um, but since I only do these three days, three days a week, I didn't want to buy, you know, three months worth of wine. Anyway, so let's, um, let's get right into it. So this is the uh, Piccini Chianti. Um, it is a DOCG. So that just means it's not a DOC Chianti. Um, and I got it from World Market for the grand total of $6.97. Now that was a $2 savings because I'm in the World Explorer program. Um, so it's normally $8.97. Um, and this winery has been around since the late 1800s if I remember the, uh, the website, right? Slick looking website, looked it up real quick. Just opened it up maybe five minutes ago, opened the wine. And uh, it's a 95% Sangiovese and 5%, okay, we're gonna try to get it right the first time, uh, Ciliegiolo. Oh, yeah. Ciliegiolo is a uh, very, very um, underused varietal that the, that's grown in Tuscany and Umbria. Um, and it is thought to be actually the parent of Sangiovese. Um, they'll use it as part of, you know, Chianti's to, to help it out with a bit. And sometimes they are making um, a varietal wine out of it. So let's check it out. Let's see how it is. So I'm getting some fruitiness and a little bit of spice. Get it really, really, really uh, swirled there. Just mostly, just some some red fruits. Nothing, nothing distinctive. Um, I'm gonna go with maybe some cherries. Now that now that's air airing out a little bit. I don't know if you can see back there, we got a decanter. I got a wine I'm gonna put in there. That's the expensive wine I'm gonna put in there. Though actually wines like this would even benefit from a decanter. Believe it or not, they, they will benefit a little bit at least. So let's see. Get a little bit of sweetness out of it, maybe a little bit of chocolate. Nah. Maybe. We'll see how it tastes. It's not bad. So you get some floral components on the palate. It kind of just coats your mouth um, with that kind of potpourri floral type of stuff, which is supposed to, by the way. Chianti's are supposed to have a floral element to them. I think it's actually supposed to be a rose petal, specifically. But yeah, you're getting that Hate to say it, tastes like I was in World Market. 
it tastes like you're in Pier One. You got the you got the the heavy heavy potpourri type of flavoring and aromas coming through. You get a little bit of of um, acid, so you get some acidity to it, um, which should help with the pasta we're having tonight. Um, and that's why I opened this bottle because I wanted some wine tonight instead of waiting till till Wednesday, which is today's episode. This is Tuesday night, by the way. Um, instead of waiting till Wednesday to try any of the wines, I was like. We're having pasta tonight. I'll just do the Chianti. Didn't know what happened. What was in for dinner tonight? I just bought a bunch of different wines and figured this might go with it. So I like it a lot. The back says the tradition. This traditional favorite sauce shop starts off soft on the palate and finishes with a clean, delicate fruit. Um, I would say soft is, is, a, is, a, is one way to put it because it doesn't really hit you very well. It will probably complement the food really well. It's just not going to, uh, it's not going to overpower it. Um, I definitely think you need to have food with this. I don't think this is a wine that I'm probably going to want to drink on its own um, because I'm going to want the, the, the food flavors to complement the wine flavors instead of just feeling like I'm drinking a bunch of flowers. Um, but I'd also kind of characterize it as a little bit thin. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it's it's thin is a good is a good way to put it. I do like it, and I think it's going to go really well with the dinner. Um, but I don't think it's um, spectacular wine. I think it's really really good wine, though. I mean, I really like it. Definitely. I think it was a good pick. Got had an orange label on it. Thought, why not? So, uh, and this is their kind of their their first level. They have some other like they have some other wines that they put out, but um, I think it's pretty solid. I, I'd give it. I'm gonna say I'd give it an 86. Um, it's not. Again, it's not like this spectacular wine, but it's also not like you know, it's not horrible. I mean, you know. I think it's pretty decent. I think it's really good. Definitely. A little bit of dust in there too. Cool. So, um, got the wine going. Um, we're back with some more episodes. Uh, just make sure you're friending me up on Twitter, on Facebook. On iTunes, we got the podcast. And for all of you on TiVo who have just started watching on uh, this being episode 131, you got 130 other episodes to start watching. If you don't have TiVo or you didn't know I was on TiVo as of last Friday, March, what was today? The 23rd, 2, 1, it's like what, 19th? 20th? No, 19th, 18th, whatever that day was. Um, for those of you, uh, anyway, so as of Friday, March, whatever that was, 18th, 19th, whatever, 2010, for the sake of posterity here on the video, I am now on TiVo, available under web shows. And as luck would have it, they think they, they sort things, at least on the website, alphabetically. So the food and drink, sorry, food and drink section, guess which guy is the first one listed? Yeah, this guy. So, um, uh, and who's on the bottom of the list? The one that begins with a W. So, um, anyway, so check it out. Uh, hopefully, uh, the episodes are coming out pretty well. Uh, with the new camera, the quality sheet should be even better. And um, so we got that. Apparently, I'm on Boxy. I can't find myself on Boxy. And then the Roku box. Supposedly on there. Haven't seen anything, but I don't have a Roku box, and I haven't been to their website. Um, actually, I don't think you can look up their stuff on the website. But uh, so more expansion, more um, more distribution. I'm really stoked about the uh, TiVo thing. Uh, hopefully have some other wine coming soon to try. Um, and that's probably going to do it for now. Make sure you friend me up. And uh, there's stuff to buy. And click and all that kind of stuff. We'll see everybody again on Friday.